Hey guys, my name is Jay and welcome to another very simple redstone video. Woo! Today we're looking at five very simple ways to send your redstone signals vertically. So what we've got going on here is just a very basic design. We've got the blocks, you know, positioned and staggered and then the redstone dust on top of them all the way up to the redstone lamp. Of course, redstone dust only goes for 15 blocks and that means once you get to a place like this, you do need to go ahead and you know, extend the signal with a repeater. So you'd have to do something a little bit like this. And you can probably just put a block up like this and then continue the signal around like so. Anyways, moving on. Since I think it might have been in the 1.16 snapshots, or it might have even been just before it, you can now place redstone dust on top of glass here. And you can see the signal doesn't actually get broken, which means... We can then position the blocks like this. Of course, if you did it with uh, normal blocks here, then the redstone doesn't go up the blocks, right? It needs to be open like this. And if you put one on top of there, then the redstone gets sort of broken, right? But with glass blocks, that doesn't happen. And that means for 15 blocks, we can power that lamp again, or you can continue your circle on, circuit on, uh, have a switch somewhere up there or something. Uh, on to the third design here. Now we're using some game mechanics. This one is pretty simple. It does require some observer blocks there and some sticky pistons. In this one I've got one, two and three sticky pistons and two observers. And then all you need is some leaf blocks and some logs. And it's just a game mechanic where with the leaf blocks it will travel six, uh, six leaf blocks here. And once the log is under it then they get updated to say that there is a log there. And then the observer can pick that up and it fires that piston and then the same thing happens up there. And you will see once that happens, the light turns on. And of course, with that observer, you can then uh, power, you know, like a redstone circuit or you can have like what, whatever you need. You can have another switch up there or something. And of course, this does also work going downwards. The other ones also work going downwards, but I just wanted to show that as well because there are actually some designs in here that only work with going up which is actually in the next design here which is a torch tower so here this one's very simple this one can go on for ages and ages and ages so long as the chunk is loaded and basically each torch that goes up you see it just turns off and on and then the light turns on or off depending on the position of the switch here and finally this has definitely been released in 1.16 snapshots this is the target block with some dispensers. So we've just got some dispensers loaded with arrows. You can see once it hits the one that's next to the lamp, if it gets all the way up there. Sometimes the dispenser does actually miss. But once it gets all the way up there, it hits the target block, the lamp turns on, and you can, of course, then power your circuits off that. That one also goes down. Here I do have a few um, target blocks. I did find that... If you're within like a four block range here, so one, two, three, four, oops, four, then it was a lot more accurate for actually hitting the target block. As you can see with this one, we've got nothing in the way here. And if we fire that, it hits. But sometimes we will get one here where it just misses completely. And it's kind of not very accurate at all from this height. You can see there's been a couple of times where it just has not landed at all right there. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed the very short video here, and I hope that it does help you in some of your redstone circuits. If it did, please leave a like rating, subscribe if you're not already so you don't miss out on any future videos, and until then, guys, I'll see you in the next one. Ciao for now.